الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته and good morning instagram fam friends and followers of as-safi thank you for joining me for another episode in our running series revert reflections and we have been most recently speaking under the theme what sets islam apart from other faiths and this week we turned our attention to the topic of deeds matter in our faith deeds matter and so we started off this week with that as our focus in our faith deeds matter and then we supported that by stating that deeds are the partner of faith wherever one goes the other follows we followed that up by saying that faith is deeds and deeds are faith and providing some uh information providing some uh textual proof to support that assertion and then we follow that up by saying that deeds matter as indicated by the consequences associated with doing good deeds failing to do good deeds or doing bad deeds Now today or now that we've established uh I think quite thoroughly that in our faith deeds matter I want to turn the focus now to what are some of the implications of this recognition once we recognize that deeds matter what is the practical implication for the for us in terms of our faith and in terms of our practice of our faith so one of the indications or I'm sorry one of the implications is that the how matters the how matters how we do the deeds that matter now that we've established that deeds matter how we do those deeds that matter matters and i'm mentioning this brothers and sisters because there's a common misconception in the muslim community and that is that people are of the mindset some muslims many muslims are of the mindset that Allah just wants us to do something. He wants us to make the attempt. He wants us to make effort and he wants us to do what we do for his sake. But Allah is not overly concerned with the details. This is what some people say. And to give you a practical example, they'll say for example that Allah wants us to pray but Allah is not overly concerned with how we pray. So some people pray this way and some people pray that way and some people don't always pray um perfectly. But Allah doesn't really care about that. He's not overly concerned with the how, just concerned with the why. You know, why are we doing it? What's the motive? And concerned that we do something. That's what some people say. Very common misconception in the Muslim community. The question we have to ask ourselves before we adopt and accept this uh misconception is is this right? And the way to know if it's right or wrong in the deen is to consult Allah and his messenger because they are the authorities in what is right and wrong in deen. So our question should be now that we're hearing people say this and we're seeing people walk in Islam under this uh understanding or with this understanding and their practice of Islam reflects it. we have to ask ourselves is this right is this what does allah say about the how what does his messenger say about the how have they given us any indication that the how of the deeds that matter we've established that the deeds matter the how of those deeds that matter have allah and his messenger given us any indication that that how doesn't matter what i want to do today uh in the time that we have left is i want to mention one ayah and two a hadith that will help to bring into focus the answer to this question according to allah and his messenger and then i'm going to provide inshallah ta'ala tomorrow a few other pieces of evidence textual proof that indicates that this misconception is wrong it is totally false not only do deeds matter in islam but the how of those deeds matters to Allah 
and matters to his messenger and matters to our salvation. It affects and it will impact our salvation. So let me begin with the ayah. And it is uh, the first a couple of ayat from Surah Al-Mulk, the 67th Surah of the Quran, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبَلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا He says, blessed is he in whose hand is the dominion, and he is capable of all things. He who created life and death, I'm sorry, who created death and life as a test to reveal which of you is best in deeds. Ponder that for a second, brothers and sisters. Allah is saying that he created death and life. He created existence. He brought us into this world as a test to reveal which of us is going to do something, which of us is going to do something however we want to do it, no, to see which of one of you is best in deeds. will do the deeds the best way. Gives an indication from Allah that the how matters. Let's look at the hadith. Two hadith from the Prophet ﷺ. The first one is the hadith in which Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, very famous hadith, he said, Inna Allaha yuhib idha amila ahadukum amalan an yutqina. He says, verily Allah loves that when one of you does a deed, that he does it well. Gives an indication that the how matters to Allah. Allah wants us to do it well and he loves it when we do things well. I'll give you one more hadith. But before giving you the hadith, I'll give you the context. The Prophet was asked in the very famous hadith of Jibreel, the hadith of the angel Gabriel, he was asked about the levels of the Islamic religion. And in the course of that discussion with the angel Gabriel, he noted, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the highest level of the Islamic religion is the level of ihsan, the level of spiritual excellence. And he defined it as, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يراك. Worshipping Allah well, as if, I'm sorry, as you would, if you see him. And if this is not achievable, then worship him well, recognizing that he sees you. Strive for excellence in your worship. Strive to do your deeds the way you would do them if Allah was right in front of you and you could see him. And if you can't achieve this level, worship him well. Realizing, recognizing that he sees you. Does that sound like a religion that says the how doesn't matter? How you worship Allah doesn't matter. It's not important. Just worship Allah. Have Allah in your heart. Have your motive be that you want to please Allah in your heart. And what you do doesn't matter. Does that sound like that to you? It doesn't sound like it to me. And I don't think it sounds like it to you either. But we're going to, inshallah ta'ala, mention more specific texts that show us that the how matters to Allah, matters to his, mess his messenger, and matters in this deen. Inshallah ta'ala, we will take up that tomorrow. Until then, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May he bless your houses, may he bless your spouses, may he bless your children. May he bless your sources of revenue and income. May he bless you and make you blessed wherever you may be. Hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak wa muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.